But first, folks, yeah, it's time to open my playbook and welcome our first guest this evening. Here we go. 36, 47, 29, hop! They... What, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Um, I'm trying to introduce a GA guest. I'm so sorry, folks. I have no idea what, what happened there. What's an NFL player doing on a GA show? I have no idea. Let's try that again. Here we go. 18, 27, 54. Hop. Tonight we've got. Oh, 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 oh. Look, hang on. I'm not an NFL player. You're not an NFL player. We don't have any NFL players in Ireland. Or do we? Yes. We didn't have until last week, but now we have my next guest who made history for GAA players all over Ireland. He's from County Town, just like me. He started out as a goalkeeper, just like me, and he's about to become a huge star in America. Moving swiftly on, please welcome the man who has been in all the headlines this week for all the right reasons. He is the first ever inter-county player to win a place in the NFL from the New Orleans Saints. Give it up for Mr. Charlie Smith! There you go. Look. Look at all the people coming out of the woodwork looking for money now, Charlie. Oh, uh, there's some crack, aren't there? There's some crack, yeah. there's some crack. Uh, Charlie Smith, New Orleans Saint, how does that feel? Yeah, even you saying that, it's, just, it's a bit surreal. Um, I suppose though, before I went out, like, that was the aim. We wanted to go out and, you know, impress and, you know, obviously, uh, hopefully that uh, team will come looking. Like, and, you know, when, when New Orleans Saints uh, came looking at me, it was, it was hard to say no, to be honest. Like, um, yeah, just to say that, you know, you're, you're saying with an NFL team now, it's, it's just so surreal. And, you know, the support from back home has just been incredible. Like, I never imagined it would be this much. Like, so what was it like uh, coming home with with the news, getting back into to Dublin? Yeah. Uh, who was there for you? Yeah, so I arrived back home from Dublin, and I knew uh, my ones were coming. So mummy and daddy and my two sisters. But then the, the, all the other family was there as well. Um, my, my aunties and, and uncles and and wee cousins as well. And uh, just to get just get, having that from them, and you know they had the signs up and and, and stuff like that there and. It really, and then they made obviously loads of noise as well. So, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty nice to have now, and it made me feel really welcome. Like, what I'm loving here is just seeing you walking out and just seeing the high that you are on, yeah. and the fact that everybody here is just so, so proud of you. And, and like, it's happened really quick, hasn't it? Like, when yeah. did you start kicking uh, in NFL I, football? Yeah, it's, the first time I kicked in NFL ball was uh, last August, August 22nd, and. Um, Literally, after that was maybe about a month again after that, because then we had the club championship. And then after that, then I was actually sitting in some areas in, in Belfast and I looked at an email and uh, I was talking with my mate from Scottsdale as well. And uh, he, I just remember reading that email. I was like, this is, he just said, Tag just says that the, the, uh, the NFL owned up his pathways for kickers and punters. And it just kind of, something clicked with me. It's like, you know, this is something um, that I could, you know, you know, something that I felt like I could do and... No, no, you're saying that's something that you could do, so explain, how, how different is it to actually yeah. being a GA keeper? What, what, what does the NFL kicker do for people that don't know? Yeah, well, basically it's just, it's very similar to hitting a free in football, um, just like hitting your 45s, which is what I've done from, from no age. Uh, the only real thing is that um, the NFL ball is actually easier to get higher up in the air and you just follow through, follow through a bit more, I suppose. Um, and obviously you have a shorter run-up and the ball's not there whenever you start making your run-up. And there's a load of boys running trying to bury you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know you don't have all day to look at the ball. You just have to go and, mm -hmm. and kick it. And you know through the the practice we've done here in Ireland with with Leader kicking, it's um it's just been yeah it's just been unbelievable. And yeah, just the experience I've got from it has just been life changing really. And you know long may it continue. Like one of the one of the brilliant things uh, about your story, you actually wrote an email. What age were you when uh, you wrote this email? Tell us who you yeah. wrote it to. So yeah, it was the inquiries at nfl.com. Um, I suppose I was 18, literally just finished my A-levels in St. Coen's. And, um, so this wasn't even a person, this was just inquiries at NFL. Yeah, and I DM'd their Instagram page as well, and, and uh, nobody got back to me, not surprisingly so. I was 18, like, you know, uh, so, yeah, now it's... I'm just trying to work out how you slide into the DMs of the NFL. I didn't That's... even know what I was doing. I can't even remember what I was thinking. Um, I just, just went for it, like, and I just, I, I've been a huge fan of the sport, so um, just, yeah, get, getting to do that, and now it's actually happened as a result, and... I suppose probably just having the vision and belief that you know you can do it from a young age, 
And then when the opportunity arose, you know, I really went for it and gave it my full focus. And, you know, obviously they dropped the football, which was tough to do, like, but whenever this came about, I was like, you know, this is, this is made for me, like, so, um, yeah, I just, just went at it and really, I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, it's just, I just can't wait to get back out. And, and you are basically an absolute first. Yeah. In, in terms of uh, what's, what makes you absolutely unique. You're the only inter-county player, you're the only Gale goer. Yeah. They... Yeah, so, yeah, basically, the, the first hour, probably Irish-born, Irish-raised, and Irish-trained to get the NFL. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, my first time in the States was, was this year in January uh, in Boston. And um, then, obviously, my second time was, was Florida there for the past seven weeks. So, like, yeah, I suppose it's nice to be the first ever to you know, come through the International Player Pathway program as well. So, you know, not just the first Irish, just the, probably the first outside of the States, I suppose. And, um, you know, I've tagged to thank for that. And, and, and obviously everybody at the APP, it's just been unbelievable. And, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just class. It's just class. Yeah. Um, you know, I drive through Mayo Bridge fairly often there, and what the, yeah. what they want to know, uh, you know, in Gorman's Bar, Mayo Bridge is yeah. probably the same thing that we all want to know. What 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 would an NFL kicker be on? What sort of money would a fella um, like just, be just slightly more than the starting salary as a teacher? So, uh, <laughs> uh, so you, you, did, you, were, you were heading for the teaching, weren't you? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I, was, I qualified last year. And then this year I'm doing a masters in St Mary's. And then the other day is I was training either down south in Dublin or I was subbing in uh, just the local primary schools and secondary schools uh, about home. And uh, yeah, that's what that was my plan was obviously just to, you know to become a teacher, keep teaching and um, play my football in the evenings. But uh, life's life's changed a wee bit since then, I suppose. Uh, since this has come up and yeah, it's just, it's just great that you know the the way it worked out that you know I just finished, had no permanent job, um, had no ties to anything, I had a lot of flexibility with you know, university and with I, I could I could say no to work to come and train uh, down south and um, yeah, like yeah, it's it's just been, it's just been great, like. Charlie, can I just say, uh, on behalf of everybody uh, up around our way, yeah. as, as, as you know, and, and everybody here in Ireland, we are just so, so proud of you. And just make me one promise, when you win the Super Bowl, will you come back and see us? Oh, yeah, most definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. Um, Good suppose, it's actually in New Orleans this year as well, so who knows what's going to happen. Who knows what's going to happen yeah. there? You're teeing up the dream. Yeah. Uh, give it up one more time. Charlie Smith! <laughs> Yeah, thank you.